in your own Olympiad of, of novelists, living and dead, um, who are the ones that inspire you, challenge you, threaten you? Well, I'm only interested in what I can admire. Um, and there are a great many writers. Um, I mean, if you wouldn't seriously want to know all the writers I, I, I admire, the, the list would go on for hours. I want to know the ones you light candles to, you know. I don't light candles to anyone. I reread the writers I admire all the time. Uh, and I, I, I hesitate only because it's a chance to pay tribute to writers, and there are so many. Um, well, to mention American writers, I, uh, Donald Barthelme, uh, Elizabeth Hardwick, um, John Updike, uh, James Salter. Oh, God, I could go on and on and on. Uh, uh, some younger writers, uh, Deborah Eisenberg, uh, Daryl Pinckney. I, I'm sure I'm forgetting ten other writers I, I revere and admire and am stimulated by. But I don't light candles to writers. I mean, I am a writer. Does a surgeon light, light candles to other surgeons? Uh, we're not sure anymore. Do. No, I don't think they do. I think they admire and try to learn and be stimulated by. There's nothing... Um, it, it, it's, it's too serious to be sentimental. Did you really say what Entertainment Weekly quotes you as saying, in effect, who is Camille Paglia? Did I really say it? You mean, do I really say it? Of course I did say it. Why? What a way to ask me. No. Did I really say something that <laughs> Entertainment Weekly reported? Yes, I really did say it. Meaning what? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me. Do, are, we, had, are we not speaking no, English? No, but had you not heard about her or not I read her or not, not approved of her? I think if I say who was Camille Paglia. No, I didn't say that. Listen, I don't read Entertainment Weekly. Why don't you ask me a direct question? Excuse me. The, um, had you really not read or, or reckoned with Camille Until Camille Paglia? about two and a half weeks ago, I had never heard of Camille Paglia. That is correct. I then made this statement, and a few people did me the kindness of sending me uh, Xeroxes of some interviews that she has given and some things written about her, with remarks about me circled in red. So I am now familiar to that extent uh, with Camille Paglia in the last two or three weeks uh, that I see she's made some remarks about me. But I don't consider that being familiar with somebody. And until two or three weeks ago, I'd never heard of her. I was intrigued because she's interested in a lot of the things that you write about in this book, including Italian Catholic paganism and feminism and... Well, I wouldn't know that, hmm. would I? You'd be surprised at all the things I don't know because I'm, I know about a lot of other things and I read all the time. And I don't think I'm wasting my time in what I do read, so one can't read everything. Does pop culture interest you? I don't think in those terms. I don't use those categories. I'm sorry. I, no, that's okay. I'm a working writer who has a lot of interests. And I, there's no point in asking me if I have a lot of other interests. I could, I could make you a list, a very, very long list of all the things I'm interested in. I'm interested in neurology. I'm interested in art history. I'm interested, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It'd be pretentious to go on. Therefore, why ask me? I mean, you have some other agenda, and it's not mine. Um, you know, I have a lot to think about, and a lot to read, and a lot to study, and a lot to entertain myself with. Uh, and it isn't based on the entertainment culture. Although I'm sure there are some things I like and enjoy, which some people would call pop culture, but I don't use that language. I think I have a sort of more complicated view. I don't need to use that language. So I think of you as one who sort of sees it all in a certain way and then distills. And I, I guess I wonder where you draw, where do you draw the line in, in between the serious culture? I don't. And the entertainment culture? I don't. Well, how do I don't you think that way. I don't know. It just goes, <laughs> you're making this into a very contentious situation. No, and no, I'm I don't not need comfortable to do that. with this. I, I don't think in these terms. These are journalistic terms, and I don't, I don't, I'm not drawing lines. I'm not a pundit. I'm just staying home and then, you know, and reading and listening to music and thinking and doing my writing, and then I go out for very specific occasions which interest me to a museum, a gallery, a, 
opera, ballet, and so on. And this is, I don't need these journalistic categories. I'm not drawing any lines. I'm not a pundit. What is your hope for uh, left-wing politics? I can't tell you. I cannot answer such a question. I don't have sound bites. I'm sorry. I just don't. Make it as long as... No, 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 but I don't know how to... Th I don't think that way. I mean, you've got to get somebody smarter on your program. I don't think that way. I have the faintest idea. I'd have to go off in a corner and think for three days before I could answer such a question. I don't have answers like that in the tip of my tongue. I, I, I've never been... Honestly, I've, I've been in a lot of interviews. I've never been asked questions like this. Do people really, other people you interview, have answers to such questions? No, yeah, some do, some don't. Mm, wow. Uh, we, I, I guess I assume that Susan Sontag has answers for everything. Well, I uh, guess you've got the wrong idea. Uh, I mean, I don't know who you think I am. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not a performing artist. I'm not Gore Vidal, whom, by the way, I admire. Uh, I'm, I'm just a writer trying to do my best and figure things out and just published a novel. That's, that's all I can say. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not a performer or a pundit. As a novelist and as a citizen, as a reader and, a, and a, an observer, don't you find yourself almost inevitably drawn to the television set, to the so-called popular questions, the questions of what most people are seeing, most people are seeing as art, thinking, being sold, um, no. No, I don't. And you know I don't. I've said it in countless interviews. N not that I'd read. That's oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> then, <laughs> then you haven't read many interviews. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. No, I'm not drawn. And I'm not drawn precisely in the way that you think I ought to be drawn. That is to say, as a reader, as a writer, as all those other things. No, I'm not drawn. Clearly, you think I should be. I think I shouldn't be. So there's an, another disagreement. No, I guess I feel we all have to be, whether well, we like it or not. Well, that's what you think. I think it's very important that many of us not. It's a fair answer. Down with television. <laughs> That's Susan Sontag explaining, in a sense, why Camille Paglia dismisses her as Miss Mandarin in her New York apartment. But now somebody's got to explain to Paglia that for all her mocking, Sontag's got a bestseller on her hands. I'm Christopher Lydon. Good night.